concourse the elimination are at the post they're all lined up behind the gate and here they come busy or ducked in he's gone on a break busy or off stride and they're off to Bonte gets the first call CR commando and self possessed also away well toward the inside is American high noon and super shade drops over to the pylons he's now racing for it Devante backing up, looking for a talk. Cherry Hills toward the inside passes him fifth. Million Dollar Buy is racing in seventh. And Pearsall Hanover is eighth, looking to settle in. Bazir broke behind the gate. He trails the field. It's self possessed, leading it. CR Commando is parked on the outside. He's a neck back and second. Opening quarter in 27 and four. And up on the outside, it's CR Commando to take the lead. Self possessed on the inside, racing in second. CR Commando yet to clear, but now he's trotting up on the outside and Lachan takes back with self-possessed he's now in the pocket from second American High Noon is in behind the two favorites getting a nice trip third then it's a gap of two lengths to Super Shade fourth Cherry Hills on the inside fifth a gap of two to Devante is racing in six million dollar by seventh and self-possessed is back out of the pocket looking to retake they're at the half 56 and four and self-possessed made a quick move back to the lead CR Commando lets him go he's now two lengths back in second American High Noon is losing touch with that pair he's four lengths further back third super shade trapped in fourth Devante moving up on the outside Cherry Hills racing six Pearsall Hanover seventh million dollar buy went on a break and Bazir trails the field but as they hit three quarters it is self-possessed and 124 and four CR Commando trying to keep him within his sight second but he's three lengths back and he's being chased along self-possessed is not he's just on cruise control and Lachance lets him go he's drifting out a bit but he's six lengths in front CR Commando second Devante third Cherry Hills fourth self-possessed quickly moving to the head of the class of the sophomore trotters what a win he's about 10 lengths in front in one, 52 and two. Devante was second. Super Shade finishes third. One, 52 and two. Self possessed equaling his own track record that he shares with Muscle Returning Janky. to the winner's circle is number four, Self Possessed. Three year old Victory Dream Colt out of Feeling Great by Mystic Park. He's owned by the Self Possessed Stables of Versailles, Kentucky. Trained by Ron Gerfine, Mike Lachance in the Sulky. Self possessed with just a dominating performance here. Drawing clear under a hand drive in 152 and 2, equaling his track record equaling mile from a week ago. Self possessed stamps himself as the heavy favorite now for the Budweiser Beacon course and the Hamiltonian coming up on August 7th. Results official self possessed 320, 3 even 220. Second was number 7, Devante who paid 25.40, 880, third number three, Super Shade, 460. Tremendous ability and speed, and uh, he's got everything. I was trying to, uh, to race him in a two-all, and uh, when I had him double up uh, going to the half there, like uh, he almost got uh, to run because, you know, it wasn't going uh, fast enough for him. You know, like uh, he wanted to stretch a little more, so that's why I went back to the front, and, and then I just let him trot in the stretch a little bit, and... Uh, but he was bearing out a little bit at the end. Uh, as far as his speed and uh, stamina, he's, he's got it all. Ron Gerfine said this week that the three best trotters he had in perfection, Victory Dream and Continental Victory, this horse had more power than those horses. He just hadn't won any stakes yet at three. You drove all three of those. Can you compare him to any of those type horses? No. Uh, I, maybe, I, maybe I can compare him to, uh, to Victory Dream, uh, to his father. Uh, He's about the same kind of horse as Victory Dream, but more power, like Ronnie said. He's just uh, more uh, powerful than him. As a two-year-old, he showed a lot of talent, but he wasn't at the top of his class. Uh, what's the biggest difference you saw from his two-year-old season till now? Uh, he was awful good last year early, and uh, just at the end there, in, in his last couple start, that uh, he, didn't, uh, he just didn't seem to be, to be right. Uh, he had a little problem with him over Garden State after a stake race there uh, during the week. Uh, like, uh, he kind of fell down and uh, he hurt himself a little bit on the track and he didn't come back the same after. And uh, this year it seems that uh, he forgot about it and uh, right now he's, he's, he's pretty good. Okay, Michael Chance, good luck next week in the Budweiser Beacon Course Final with Self-Possessed, the horse to beat.